Mark, thanks so much for, uh, for taking the time uh, to, to talk with us a little bit about your experience. Uh, maybe to start off, if you could you know, set the stage a little bit of what was the business challenge that you were facing? Historically, we used to be a number four player in Europe, um, and we had this window of opportunity acquiring the number three player in Europe, um, which combined makes a number one player. Um, now, the unique situation was we were pretty much putting together two equally sized companies, if you want to say so, both with about 15,000 people, strong heritage in Italy, um, but it's a kind of an acquisition where it's not one party absorbing their one. You really were trying to put together the best of two independently reasonably successful companies. Given that you were trying to bring two large, similarly sized organizations together, what was it that you were looking for out of this project to help you to do that more successfully? When you do your internal assessment, even though you force yourself to assess future potential, by definition, you largely do it against current performance. Right. I mean, and I think when you come from the outside, you have a much more broader view in terms of how much is the upside potential. So we pretty early on agreed, okay, we should make a talent pool assessment. Did you have much uh, difficulty in terms of the other party agreeing to, to going through that process? The interesting first reaction was on the acquiring side, we actually got very positive feedback because people all of a sudden felt they get a fair chance. Right. Um, interesting, we had to more communicate on our side, the acquiring side, I, hey, everybody has to go for the same assessment. Um, so it was an interesting dynamic out of this one. It was an incredible value add exercise, but it was basically a combination of overlaying independent company assessments um, from both companies, but then combining with the assessment from an outside party um, take my time to go for every single individual and really trying to make the best decision. In hindsight, I'm, I'm so glad we did it. Um, you, you never get the talent assessments and talent selections right. But I would say from a 70% probability, we probably drove it to 90, 95% success rate. What was it about Egon Zender uh, at the beginning of the process that differentiated us and, and allowed you to be comfortable to partner with us in this project? I think probably two things. One is the heavy partner involvement. You do a talent decision, in, in our case, in a director and above level, wrong or right, you know, you immediately could impact millions. Okay, so, so just having that partner timing, and, and that was crucial. The other part was, we felt the same approach is more tailored. Um, I think there's many scientific approaches to talent assessment, but I think the same ability to tailor back to our own way how we look at talent pool and our own specific situation, that made it very unique. So, for example, we asked um, the output of a Zander assessment to be retranslated back into our talent pool um, assessment, um, which I know is a certain construct in the bridge, but it helped tremendously. Um, so the ability to kind of tailor the Zander approach to our specific situation, right. that was a very decisive element. What impact did this project have on the organization? So for us, it meant that on the day we got the antitrust clearance, we had the organization ready. Um, and you know, it's, it's one thing if you as a senior leadership team and the post-merge integration team, you have to worry about every single detail. It's a completely different thing as if you know, okay, I have a leadership team in place. Um, and that's night and day. Now, there's still some technical issues around union involvement when you can announce it, but in reality, we had the team ready pretty much on day one. Um, and that is just, it gives you such a head start on a post-merge integration which on its own is challenging, which is just um, invaluable. Mark, thanks again for your time. Really appreciate it and, and appreciate you sharing your insights. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike.